All this time I've been holding it against you. Yeah, I could tell. Yes. And happy Monday if you are watching this. I don't know if you are yes. at work or you are at home after mm -hmm. work. I hope you had a fabulous day. Yes. Forgive us for not uploading uh, <laughs> last week on Thursday, but we wanted to make sure this one was where it needed to be before right. we put it up. Yes. So. Hello, dear friends. Hey, guys. Welcome back to the Majestic Family Channel. Uh -huh. My name is Jory, and this is my lovely wife, Vinamé or V. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and comment down below so we can stay in touch. Don't forget to like, share, turn on your notification bell so, so you know when a new video comes, comes out. Thank you. All right, today, uh, today we are doing part three on our stolen wedding rings. Yes. And this one is called How Did our stolen wedding rings affect our marriage. Yeah, it's one of the questions we, questions or comment we got like, yeah. how did it affect your marriage? Thank God it didn't affect your marriage. How did it not affect your marriage? <laughs> yes. So we're gonna People go wondered. ahead and address that. Thanks too. for joining us for the live on yes, Saturday. Yes, it was, was so much fun, yeah. <laughs> All right. So the question was posed in a several in several different ways. How did it affect our marriage having our wedding rings stolen mm -hmm. or by giving away our wedding rings at this offering or whatever. Oh, thank God you didn't like blame each other or, or something yeah, like that. How you're did you still yeah, marry? Yeah, yeah. Or whatever, thank God you're you know? still married. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly, you know, what the root of that question would be. Like, why did they think that? You mm -hmm, know, but mm -hmm. I have some ideas on what they might have been thinking. Like, like what? Like, um, you and I discussed how, like, giving those things away might have been only one person's idea and the other person didn't really agree. Oh, I see. Um, mm -hmm. Which was not the case for us. No. So, mm -mm. <laughs> if you know Ben May and I well enough, you know that we do everything together. Yeah. Uh, sometimes to a fault. <laughs> um, we can't help it. <laughs> but so like even early on, like if we were going to sink, we were going to sink together, uh -huh, you know? Uh -huh. And so if we were going to succeed, we were going to succeed together. together. Uh -huh. And so we, I guess we just didn't really view it at all as that was your choice. Yeah. It was, we made this choice together. together. Now, I mean, we're in a struggle. We're in this struggle together. together. How can we together figure this out? Uh -huh. And I remember like walking down to the front and you were up in choir mm -hmm. and like, you, we already talked about it. Yeah. And so when I put them in, I saw you up there. I think you were crying because mm -hmm. it was a big thing to give, mm -hmm. you know, and mm -hmm. and you kind of nodded, you know, mm -hmm. like, go ahead. Mm -hmm. So it was like, I put the rings in there and mm -hmm. that was that. Yeah. And so whether we, you know, whether it was good or bad decisions, we've been in it together. together. So. so so how it affected us was it didn't affect our marriage or the solidity of our marriage mm -hmm. at all mm -hmm. uh, because our marriage is not based on that and yeah. anything we do we do together but I, I can definitely see how someone might think that that could affect our marriage because uh, if you look at uh, research and statistics yeah data shows that finances is one of the number one things that causes problems in a marriage yeah. uh, if you don't get finances right if you're not sure how to handle it mm -hmm. uh, it can cause a lot of friction and tension mm -hmm. in your relationship yeah. and um, it can be tough. And I don't think we're particularly like amazing at finances. No. I don't think we're particularly good at categorizing things or whatever. I think the thing for us is just that we've never let it get a hold of us to yeah. a way that it's of utmost importance. Cause it's just right. not. It's not. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jory never let money like rule over him. He didn't allow that to be define who he was as a man. So right. like if he didn't have it, I wasn't, I don't know. It wasn't like a fight. I don't think that that's like one thing we never thought about. Thank <laughs> God is like finances. Like right. we, it just was not on our radar. Like right. you like to say it was like us versus whatever we yeah. were dealing with yeah. at that moment. So yeah. yeah, if we were going down, we were going down together. Together. If yeah. we were, if we were well, we're doing well together. <laughs> that's my ride or die. Right. It's like, that's not ever been, the question really right but, yeah we've we've always kind of put our marriage and our relationship mm -hmm. with the lord first, first. Uh -huh. uh, and then the money is just a thing yeah you know and it's mm -hmm. nice when you have more it is it's easier it's you know whatever it's nice yeah less but, stress but we I don't know if that's always true that's true <laughs> that is very true more money more problems <laughs> right but uh but it's never really come between us like that 
or we ha we haven't allowed it. We right. didn't allow it right. to be cut. That's true. The way we prioritize what's important in our lives, mm -hmm. money doesn't get first place. Right. So mm -hmm. yeah. thank God. So <laughs> it did affect us in some other ways in our marriage, um, being that we grew closer to each other because right. this was a battle we had to fight together. Right. Uh, being that we got we each got closer to the Lord, started researching for ourselves. Yeah. So in a good way, it that's how it affected our marriage. Mm -hmm. um, there was only a stronger bond that was built based on what we called our greenhouse experience. Right. It was very interesting looking back on the experience because going through it, it seemed very tough. Mm -hmm. But uh, our time there. We spent a lot of time learning mm -hmm. about what's true mm -hmm. from the word and, you know, seeing different types of church bodies and mm -hmm. different types of beliefs mm -hmm. within Christianity. Mm -hmm. um, it's right in the Bible Belt down there in the south, and there are a lot of churches, uh, but we learned a lot of, you know, what's real and what's not. Yeah. And what we really valued in terms of groups of believers. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that, I think it, it did. The whole experience of the wedding rings and and you know this so prosperity thing like yeah. we in giving that and in you know this all causing us to to think and mm -hmm. research and grow mm -hmm. deeper together mm -hmm. uh yeah i think if you submit yourself to god in your relationship in your marriage mm -hmm. um let me be clear <laughs> if you submit yourself to god in your marriage then you know, those things can only draw you closer to him mm -hmm. and closer to each other mm -hmm. because you constantly look to him mm -hmm. and he draws you back together. So, so yeah, that's short and sweet. Wanted to get to the <laughs> point. Um, Thursday, we might have a vlog out or we mm -hmm. might address uh, another, the finality of this uh, series that <laughs> right. we've done. Yeah. We weren't anticipating on right. doing. Right, we didn't know we would, but it's, yeah. there's been so, so much many, response yeah. to it that so, we feel like we needed to. That would be the finale. <laughs> Let's hope it's a finale. And then from there, we move on to some Q&A that we've had about like where to find a godly some, man. Yeah, some, um, uh, some yeah. interesting topics yeah, coming up. So feel free to DM us yes. on our Instagram at majestic underscore family, the number eight. That's right. Or you can just email us at Amundsen's. 08 at gmail.com yes or leave your if you don't care leave your comment down below <laughs> <laughs> right for all to see <laughs> yes so thank you guys so much for watching yes. and with that dear friends keep, keep looking, looking up, up.